Welcome to episode four of the Head in the Clouds video series. I'm Ken Hartman, a SANS certified instructor and content creator for the SANS Cloud Security Curriculum. Today's episode is titled, Use Terraform to Provision a Google Compute Instance. This video is a demonstration on how to deploy a Google Compute Engine instance using Terraform, complete with sample code. Back in March of this year, 2021, I did a 90-minute SANS Tech Tuesday workshop called Use Terraform to Provision Your Own Cloud-Based Remote Browsing Workstation. And that workshop was essentially a tutorial on using both Terraform and GitHub to create a configured AWS Elastic Compute instance. Since the Tech Tuesday workshop was focused on AWS, I decided to do this episode of Head in the Clouds as a follow-up with a focus on deploying a GCE instance since the Terraform provider and access control work differently. For this episode, I'll be using a brand new Ubuntu virtual machine. Okay, first thing that we need to do is we need to generate an SSH key pair. And to do this, we'll simply type SSH hyphen keygen at the prompt and accept all the defaults. This will create two separate files in your directory. The ID underscore RSA and ID underscore RSA dot pub. So we can examine the public key file using CAD. Note that your public key material will be different than what is shown here. This is the key that we will be inserting into our GCE instance at boot time via Terraform. The private key, the ID RSA, will be used by the SSH client to authenticate to this GCE instance. Next, let's create a dedicated GCP project and a service account. Log into the GCP Cloud Console and create a new project. I recommend that you use a name similar to TF-GCP plus six random digits so that the project name is globally unique. and then let's select our project. Next we will create a service account which we will call Terraform. Then we will grant it a role and we're going to scroll down to the compute engine compute admin. And we're done. Next we will click manage keys which is under this actions heading. We're going to click add key, create new key. We're going to select JSON as the private key file format. And we're going to save this locally. This JSON file that we just generated grants the holder full access to the project so it must be carefully protected. Note that for the purposes of this demo I will be exposing my key but by the time you view this video the key pair and the GCP project will have long since been deleted. So this is what the key looks like. Next I'm going to move a copy of this key onto my Ubuntu system placing it into a directory called access key and renaming the file service underscore account dot json. Since this is a new project, we will need to enable the GCE service via the web console. Now 
Next, we're going to run the command shown to install unzip and then Terraform. These commands are available on the show notes page, which is hyperlinked at the bottom of this video. Next, let's confirm the version of Terraform and its proper execution. Next, we're going to use a text editor such as Vim or Nano to create a file called main.tf. And then we're going to insert the following contents from the show notes webpage for this episode. We're going to use a similar process to create a terraform.tfvars file. Now we do need to go in and modify the project according to the project ID set up for our account. Now for the fun stuff, we're going to do a terraform init. Then we can do a terraform apply. Got to say yes. Great, and now we can SSH into our system. Of course, the IP address will be different every time. Then we're in, and that's it. So I can exit, and then I can run Terraform Destroy. And that tears everything down. And there we go. Before we go, let's take a closer look at our main.tf. Here's where we are declaring the variables that are set in the main.tf. And then here is where we're setting the provider being Google, and we needed the project, the region, and the zone that we plan to use. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to define a static IP address for the use of our GCE instance. Then we provision the Google Compute instance itself, and we say the image that we want to use is the Ubuntu image. Next, we set the network interface, which is a child object of the GCE instance. We're also passing in the SSH key as metadata. We're setting the server tag to be SSH server, and that is used by our firewall. We also are setting up a VPN network, and then we're setting the firewall for the GCP server. Our firewall rule has a single rule, which is to allow TCP port 22 from anywhere. And yes, we are allowing a source IP address of anywhere, 0.0.0.0/0 for this simple demo. Although in the Tech Tuesday demo, I show you how to restrict it to just your IP address, and that is determined dynamically. And then Lastly, we're outputting the IP address of the GZE instance. And while I'm at it, 
I'm going to shut down my project. I navigate to IAM and Admin. Select Settings. Click Shut Down. I copy and paste the ID number into the Project ID field and then click Shut Down. I'll get the message Shutting Down Project. Project is pending deletion. I just click OK and that's all there is to it. Now you know the basics of provisioning a Google Compute Engine virtual machine using Terraform. This project lays the foundation for future episodes where we will use this infrastructure as code template. Also, remember to check out the provisioning a cloud workstation Tech Tuesday topic for a more detailed explanation of Terraform. If you have thoughts or comments on today's episode, feel free to chime in on our moderated Google group by shooting a note to headinthecloudsecurity at googlegroups.com. If you appreciate this video and want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up on YouTube. I also want to announce that we have the SANS Cloud Sec Next Summit coming up in June on 6.3 through 6.4. Visit sans.org slash cloudsecnextsummit for details as well as to register. We're anticipating upwards of 10,000. I will be a chair of one of the tracks, and I'm looking forward to it. These summits are always a lot of fun and a great source of information. Stay tuned for another installment of Head in the Clouds as announcements of new episodes are made on the SANS Cloud Security Twitter feed. Meanwhile, be sure to check out the other great videos in the SANS Cloud Security YouTube channel. Take care.